What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up guys? So I wanted to do a video today on uh, some of the best, the, no, the best, some of the DMs that I've been getting and I want to kind of go over those a little bit more in depth um, and then we'll go from there. So one of the first topics I want to cover is tape reading. Um, I know every trader in the world tends to see tape reading and think it's the holy grail uh, it's like the missing piece that they're, you know, that they need and, and all that. So I hate to tell you guys this, but this is just my opinion on tape reading. I just, I think, I think tape reading is like, you know, second or third on the importance list of things to learn. Um, I think it's a good tool, but it's not necessary. Like I think you, I think, you know, most of us could be successful traders without tape. I just think it's a nice thing to add, right? Like the way I utilize, the, the the thing that I like to say about tape is it's like, you know, in basketball, like when I played, like I was a shooting guard. So I my job was like strictly along the perimeter, you know, shot creation and all that. But in practice, I still made sure to really uh, work on my uh, rebounding, my passing, all that, just so I could had all the tools in the arsenal. So during the game, I, could, I had, you know, I had a full, you know, kind of like a, assault team to, to use. So so that's how I use tape and I want to talk about it. So people have been asking me how I time these parabolic moves and if it's the tape and all that. So let me just show you here. So this is NBY. This was on April 20th. So this was the trade right here. So people were asking like how I how I pick these tops on that. Uh, another one was uh, SAEX right here and all that. So I kind of want to go over that. So with tape, right? The thing is, right, with, with tape, there's nothing confusing about it. It's very simple, right? Resistance and support. There's either a buyer or buyers or sellers or a seller, you know, creating that support and resistance. That's the premise of those lines. That's the premise of the levels, right? So we now know the areas of interest that we're looking for, right? We all know the basics. We know the whole and half dollars. And then we see levels like this, like this resistance here, or, you know, uh, in pre-market, it also kind of topped out here a little bit twice. So resistance levels, right? So at those levels, there were sellers to keep the stock going down, to keep it from advancing, right? Same thing on the other side, support. There are support levels on the, on the chart that are preventing the stock from going down, right? They're buyers keeping it there or a buyer. So how I use tape, one of the best, and I, this is how I know a lot of people aren't watching the trading fish videos because Bao does, has a great, great video on tape reading and in the importance of it and all that. So here, so this wick is very light blue. Let me cut. So how I utilize tape, Bao calls it the like speeding, the speed throwing a ball straight up in the air. I kind of like to think of it as a slingshot, like that idea. So. You know, in the morning, a lot of times you get these big parabolic spikes. Usually it doesn't just like rip out of the gate like that. Like you, a lot of times you see this dip, right? So I consider that the, the beginning of the slingshot. Um, and then it shoots up. And so now that's when it gets interesting when it comes to timing a parabolic move. Mind you, I'm not even recommending timing parabolic moves because the best move is this. It stuffs and rejects and you have this, this level under VWAP and it's, you know, it's just much more fluid, right? But again, I know people want to do these things, so I would rather teach it, at least how I do it, so I can, you know, hopefully help you guys in some way. So, so anyway, so you're using, you're kind of thinking about it as a ball, right? You're looking at your lines, your levels, right? Your, this, in this case, there was a resistance here and like the 178, 180s, and you're seeing the ball being thrown up, like shot up out of the rocket launcher, all the way to the top, right? And you're watching the speed, right? 
So what I like to pay attention to on the tape is I like to see at these levels that was giving me trouble earlier, is there a seller, right? And when I say is there a seller, is there someone on, it's not gonna show any numbers right now, but when I'm watching a stock get to my level, right? This is why I have the tape right next to my chart like this usually. When I get see the stock get to my level, I eyeball this, right? And I see, if I see someone at 183, right? There's either a couple options. You're either gonna see someone selling, right? And those, it'll show $1.83 and it'll show their size. My, I, I, I adjust my tape as well and my um, this to show the size. So like some people it just shows like 10, 20, right? But for me, just visually, I know, I know it's a 10, you know, it's 100, 100, 1,000, whatever. Um, but I like to see the numbers. So like, you're either gonna see this, you'll see someone here on the ask that is sell, you know, it'll show 10,000 shares at 183. Right, or you'll see someone at 183 showing 100 shares. Right, if I see someone showing 10,000 shares, I kind of don't really look at this this any as much anymore. I don't pay attention to the exact numbers. What I'll do is if I see someone showing like 10,000 shares, I look at the speed of the tape. So as we get to that level and we start to kind of stall there, and this kind of like feels like it's slowing down, that's a lot of times when I'll look to throw out an order kind of using that that seller as my stop. You know, like the way, again, to think about it is, right, the ball shoots down all the way, it's going up in the air, you throw a tennis ball up in the air, when it apexes, it slows down, it comes to almost a stop, right? Like, do that, like, while you're watching this video, take something, nothing that's gonna break, throw it up in the air, right, and no, watch it as it gets to the top of its move, the apex. It's stunned, it like stops and like suspends for a second before coming back down to earth. So that's kind of how that works, right? If I see someone showing that, you know, $1.83, showing 100 shares, right? And it's struggling in that area, 185, whatever. And I look over here and I see, you know, 185, 185, like a tons of them, size going through and it's not budging. That's also a sign to me that, okay, this might be the top. I'm um, same thing, I can throw out an order, risking that kind of a, a good break of that seller or this new high of day. Now the premise behind that is that, you know, if you have a seller in small caps, selling a large amount. If you sell, see someone on the tape, a, a large amount on the ask, what happens a lot of times is buyers out of the open, you know, they get exhausted. There's just no more to buy into that and break that seller. Because 10,000 shares, I mean, or 20,000, who knows, it, sound, it might not sound like a lot, but again, there has to be a buyer for it. So if it's not breaking, you know, and the tape's kind of confirming that level, that's it. That's what Harry talks about, you know, confirming his lines with the tape. You know, if he sees a support level, when it gets there, he's looking for those buyers. He's looking for the tape to, to show that it's supporting uh, and all that, you know? And, you know, sometimes, and then a lot of times with timing parabolic moves, you know, it just becomes a feel. You get used to it. You start to feel that, that the stock is tired and that the move might be over. Um, and all that so you know it takes screen time but again you know practice you can practice with tape like reading tape and this is how i always recommend it so the bear who had started a youtube channel so we have a few on the mic page of like some of the big crazy squeezers of the recordings but if you go to the bears insta uh, twitter it's a useful tool it's called tape to play uh, i believe that's his youtube channel and if you go to it, go all the way, it just has tape, right? Don't ask why there's no sound, because I remember that dumbass it did. But what this does, can I look? Yeah. So this is just NAVB the other day, right? You have your tape, you have your level two, and you can just watch it. And the way I practice that, what I like to do is go to settings, playback speed, and I watch it at the slowest speed possible, right? So why I do that? So I like to do it at the slowest speed, draw my lines in my head what i actually do this is what i usually do but i just can't put multiple screens when i'm watching the the video so i like to take the chart from that day right this is navb from uh i have no idea but let's just pretend this chart is navb i would take this chart right before i hit play i would go to the pre-market i would draw my levels i would go to my levels i would draw my lines and then watch the tape recording and see how things confirm. On this one, we kind of got that parabolic move, which was pretty cool. So that's like, a, I think a good lesson for everybody um, for practice. I mean, let's see if I can find 930. Yeah, so 
So I, you know, you go to your, go to the time, have your lines drawn from the pre-market, and then you know, put it in the slowest form, and you're gonna see it. It's gonna parabolic, and you can use this re- these replays to sharpen your tape reading skills. Because right, because we had this 339 line drawn, you're gonna see it, you know, kind of react at those levels. You see this line right here, right? You can watch the tape there. Is there sellers? Sellers at 325, and see how it reacts. But yeah, so I want to get this video out there. Uh, next week, I'm gonna start doing more weekly re- recaps again, and I will catch you guys in chat later. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.